Hello, hello. Let's take a little look at the Nostar Twitter client. So we, um, you can access a version of it on Nostar.com, but obviously it's very minimal viable product. Could break, could lose your data. So you know, be careful how you use it. Um, and if you want to run it yourself, there are some tutorials on this YouTube channel in the playlist called Nostar, and uh, yeah, um, in the GitHub as well. So um, first thing you get is a warning. Obviously, this is just for testing, so let's proceed. We acknowledge the warning. There's a little bit of information here about this particular client. So the Nostar network, Nostar is a protocol, notes and other stuff, relays, which means we can have uh, these relays, which we can send data through these notes and, and other stuff. So each one of these is a client, here's Alice and here's Bob. Alice wants to publish a post. Uh, each client has, his own, has their own key pair, a public key and a private key. And uses Shunor uh, keys as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and then if I want to publish a post, I sign that post with my private key and then send it to a relay. And the relay has my post and it has my public key. So somebody else, if they want to subscribe and follow my posts, then they can use that, do that through my public key. Um, and uh, they can also publish posts through their private key. And if I'm following them, I'll get you know a copy of their post. And that's kind of how it works. Um, we can also use uh, this for direct messaging, which is quite cool, by combining, so Alice takes Bob's public key, which she can see, and then her private key, combines them together, she'll get a secret, and if Bob does the same thing, when he combines her public key and his private key together, they get the same secret, which is kind of crazy, um, which means they can encrypt information and send it to each other through the Nostar network and if anyone else intercepts that information they would need a private key to be able to unencrypt it which is pretty cool um so there is a link here if we click here we should go to the Nostar protocol um it's not you know a big scary protocol document uh Fiat Jeff's got a nice way of writing to communicate information and it's actually quite interesting as well he looks at like other um solutions which are out there and and the problems which they suffer and why uh, nostar is interesting it's a very simple solution of just using these relays and web sockets um, and the relays themselves are very easy to spin up so you get censorship resistance just through these things kind of being inconse inconsequential i call them inconsequential trusted third parties i've been trying to get that term to stick so far it's not stuck but um if you want to if you want to you know propagate that through the world then yeah please do um right so if we want to uh, generate an account we need to create some schnorr keys i use because i like you know obviously being a bit of a bitcoiner um i like mnemonics i think they're cool uh, so we're going to use a mnemonic to generate our schnorr keys so if i click on generate here we get 12 words you could use your own 12 words but that's frowned upon um because uh, we have a nice uh, crypto library behind here generating these these 12 words for us so if you save these words somewhere you'll be able to through this client you'll be able to restore your keys um but only this client currently because i'm the only one who's doing the mnemonic thing click on continue it generates a private key and a public key um, i would recommend copying these and putting them somewhere safe as well because uh, you could restore your account on another client there's a couple of clients out there and you could pull all your posts into that client and use that client instead if you wanted to um so continue uh we're gonna our keys are going to be stored in local storage just on this computer uh, there will be the uh, ability to store them in the url so just have like a private key in the url um, and not on the computer itself uh, i quite like that um uh, but it's not ready yet also, the other idea of having a hardware wallet, so say if you've got a company and they've got an account on Nostar and you think, you know, before a post is sent through the network, it should really be signed on a hardware wallet. So you're 100% sure that, you know, whoever's the, it's the person who owns that hardware wallet, which is sending the post, or maybe you could combine it with multisig. All that's plausible because uh, these are using Schnorr signatures and there's all these Bitcoin wallets out there which allow you to do multisigs. So as soon as we see more Schnorr support, that will be possible. So if we click on finish, here we go, we get an account and we get a nice little uh, avatar here. I think it's called a gravatar. It's made up from our public key, which is this thing here. Um, so we can post something. Hello world. And now that's posted through the Nostar network. Um, if we go to set settings, um, soon you'll be able to add uh, like a pretty handle, you know, Ben Ark or whatever. 
Um, and there'll be a few different ways we think probably to do this. We kind of need to reach some agreement in the protocol uh, discussions. I think a nice way for an at Ben Ark type handle would be if I just literally tweet my public key and then a message or whatever from my uh, Twitter account, then the Nostar network can trust that, you know, I'm the person who owns that handle on Twitter and I could just like bring that handle across from Twitter. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but we could have all multiple types of pretty handles. So maybe a pretty handle could just be a website. And, uh, you know, if I've got Nostar.com, for example, I could have the Nostar.com handle um, in in uh, the Nostar network by you know, putting a file somewhere on my um, on my on my file server just with my public key or something to prove that I own that URL. That'd work too. Um, and then we, you can also be able to add uh, an about text about yourself and a profile picture. Um, so instead of having this little gravitar jobby, you'll have a profile picture. Um, you can add relays. Uh, as I said, these relays are really easy to spin up, so you could even spin up your own relay and, and connect to that if you wanted to. Out of the box, this client comes connected to a couple of relays already. This list will probably get longer. Uh, but if one of them's, you know, if you don't like one of them or if it keeps throwing up a load of errors, if it keeps going down, you can click on that and you can remove that relay if you want. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, yeah, messages. So obviously Twitter has direct messaging. And uh, because we have these Schnorr signatures, we can do encrypted direct messaging as well, but it's a little bit buggy. Uh, but I'm not actually following any, anyone, am I? So let's let's follow someone first. So if I copy my public key, I have another instance running here on incognito. I can put my public key in there. So now I'm following. So look at that, I retrieved the post. And then similarly, if I copy their public key, put in there, now I'm following them. So if I say something... limited amount of emojis but there's some there publish it here we go cool we get um the retrieves a post so it just kind of works a little bit like twitter there will be support for images at some point some point soon um not yet though and also replying like we're not quite there yet, uh for support for replying but you know it's, it's perfectly plausible a little bit of work we'll, we'll be able to add that any contributors out there want to contribute uh this is all open source so you just you know go on the github arc btc um, Nostar, and then, you know, contribute. Um, right, oh yeah, DMs, that's what I was going to do. So we're, we're following each other. Should bring this guy over here. Oh, that's the other thing worth mentioning, I suppose. Uh, actually, no, let's just do the DM thing first. Um, so if I click on messages... Hello. There you are, cool. So it sends a direct message, and as I said before, it's encrypted and then decrypted on their side. Uh, and they can send one back. This is a little bit buggy. Occasionally, you'll like, drop a message. Um, so, yeah, bear with it. Minimal viable product and all that. But I still think it's pretty cool that I just sent like an encrypted message through like, this inconsequential relay, um, and it ar arrived at the recipient's address using snore signatures and that's pretty cool uh this is a persistent web app so if um you know you run it on your phone it will run like a like an app um you know got our settings and we can you know we can post and stuff uh it's a little bit buggy in the well even like you know the immediate thing i need to add is the ability to follow people so you can't actually see this column anywhere when you're in like phone version. So that's a bit lame. Uh, so I need to sort that out. I'll do that soon. Because it's a persistent web app, you can add it. You can install it as like a, a, a Chrome web app um, and then access it as an app on your computer. So if I if I do that now, if I click on there, you've also got this banner you can install from actually. Let's install from there. So yes, I want to install it. Then now it's like a, a web app. And I get a little thing in my dock. I can keep that in my dock. Let's close. Open them up again. Boom. Um, if you do this on your phone, ooh, it's buggy, isn't it? if you do this on your phone, then uh, when you install it, you'll get like a little icon uh, in your phone, just like any other app. Web app uh, persistent web apps are a really nice way of like bypassing having to list on the Play Store. It's a nice secure way to install an app on your phone. Uh, without any having to deal with any of these weird APK files. So I think that's it. That's it. 
it works kind of um and it uses an Ostar network you can take your keys and go use some of the client if you want to what i like about this is it's very twitter centric so it's kind of a gui which we're all used to obviously we need to be able to add videos and images and have pretty handles and all that stuff all that will come uh, but for now you know play around with it um see if you can break it it's not that hard to break break uh, actually if we do like a couple of posts at once we should there we go cool so a lot of these relays have a rate limit to stop spam uh, so you can only make like you know two posts every 30 seconds or, or something like that i think that's the rate limit on on these relays uh, so you'll find if you post too quickly then you'll get that error come up but it's okay you can just you know wait 30 seconds and retry um, or delete post or whatever uh, so yeah it is free and open source so please do contribute if you can that'd be great um, and uh, it's really easy to run and set up as well so there's a bunch of tutorials on um, this uh, youtube account uh, in a playlist called Nostar showing you how to install it on your local computer um, or install it on a, a VPN um, so yeah check those out and uh, yeah cool have fun decentralizing um, decentralizing these social networks so uh, you know we're not reliant upon these centralized servers which can be easily censored and taken down and you know there's not much privacy there okay cheers and uh, I'll see you again